Okay, let me try again to explain how we reiterate through an array. I'm gonna this time do a while loop as well as a for loop and hopefully this will help you understand it. Um, let's create a new class and I'll just call it reiterate2. So we make a uh, new array. I'm going to make a string array this time. My array, that's the name, equal to. And I'm going to make a string array. Um, string. Uh, string. Cheese. Is very tasty very tasty there we go um, one two three four five so the length of this array is five so let's go my bad um, let's go system dot out dot print line and I'll just print out the length my array dot length is and I'll put a plus plus side and actually type in my array dot length and put a semicolon print that out proceed my array dot length is five which is right um, let's see indexes start at zero then go one two three four how do we do this with a while loop let's go so what what do we want we let's make a counter variable um, my int equals zero let's make sure that's an int though int my int equals zero that sounds right so how are we gonna how do we know when to stop um, counting because inside the while loop this is what I'm gonna have this is what I'm gonna have inside the while loop I'm gonna have system dot out dot print line and inside that I'm gonna have my array at index and my index is gonna be set to my int okay that's what I'm gonna have set inside my while loop and how do I know when to stop I'm also gonna have my int plus plus in my while loop so that's gonna increase the value of my int by one so what what happens here is we print out my array at index of whatever my int is which is right now zero and then we increase my int by one and then we we go through the loop again and we print out uh, my array at index one and then we increase my int by one to so now my int is two and the point of this is to print out the whole array um, now when do we stop Wh what's the maximum value of my int well, the maximum value of my int is 1, 2, th or 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Because 4 is the last index of our array. If we try to print out my array at index 5, Java will give us an error. So 4 is the largest index we can print out. So let's go while my int is less than my array dot length now what does this condition say this condition says that we run this while loop until my int is no longer less than my array dot length and my array dot length is five right we determined that right here so we're gonna run this until my int is four then this loop is going to run again. It's going to print out my array at index four, and we can do that at index four. My array is tasty. Um, we're going to increase my int by one, and then this while loop is going to check this condition. It's going to say, "Is my int, which is currently five because we've increased it by one, is my int less than my array dot length?" And no, my int will be equal to my array dot length. The loop will stop, and 
we, we will have already printed my enti our entire array. So let's play this. String cheese is very tasty. Excellent. Now, in the previous example, um, we used a for loop. And let me explain how we modify this into a for loop. Um, I have also do this in the for loop video when I explain that, but let me just do it again here. So we go for and, oh, my bad. Let me make a code block there. And we're going to move this little beastie inside the for loop. We're going to put a semicolon. We're going to move this little beastie inside the for loop. And we're going to put a semicolon. And we move this little beastie inside the for loop. And we don't need another semicolon there. And we move this beast inside the code block of the for loop. And we remove all the excess. And we proceed. It does the same thing. So hopefully that kind of gives you a way of understanding what we're actually doing when we reiterate through an array using a for loop. We just make a counter my int. We set the condition to be while my int is less than array dot length. And whenever the loop runs, every time we increase my int by one. And once my int has reached my array dot length, we stop printing it out because we can't print out an index at five for this array because there is no index at five. So we print out all the indexes up to five. And this structure is just something you might want to remember. Uh, so you might want to memorize because you you get used to it, but at first it might be a little bit confusing. So that's another demonstration of how to reiterate through an array using a for loop and a while loop.